phenomenal performance. How pleased are you with uh, how you performed out there? Um, I'm very happy and I hope to be back again here in Stockholm and get another win. <laughs> you ragdolled him. Did you expect to be so dominant? No, uh, so... I didn't ex accept that I was gonna be so... But my preparation was so good and I was just... Uh, you know, hungry for the next fight, so... And I did it. Back. When he put him down, he went out cold, but he still got in a couple of punches. Do you figure maybe a couple of those were necessary? Uh, actually, I never, if I would understand that he's uh, out, I never gonna, I never do, uh, will do a punch. Uh, but I didn't see that he was out, you know, and, and in my career, I never do. And when I see in a uh, fight somebody do like this, I didn't accept, accept uh, I didn't like this, you know, and mm -hmm. I didn't see that he was out and, and it's happened, but I'm so sorry that it's happened like this. In the cage, you shouted out a teammate when you were talking to Joe Rogan. Who was that, a Abby? Abby Agui, he's a, a monster. Uh, you know, if you have some time, just watch on YouTube, or Abby Agui, and I hope that UFC is going to give him some opportunity to fight in UFC. This guy is a monster. He's a, my sparring partner, my brother. Ah, this guy is monster and we have also Abu Azaita is also some, some good fighter. I hope this guy is gonna do some good fights in UFC and get some opportunities to fight here. As one of the nicest guys outside of the cage, when you're in there it seems like you're a different animal. Is it hard to get out of the, the calm laid back mood when you're getting into a fight? Uh, I'm so, sorry. But you're, I, you're apologizing for hurting him, but uh, in the cage you look like a beast. Uh, you know, uh, oh, thank you, but, but <laughs> I apo apologize because uh, he said me that I, I couple punch was too much for, and he was out, but I, I didn't see him that he was out and that's why I apologize about that and that was not nice and but it's happened I didn't see I didn't accept that that he was out the referee looked a little bit far away really should have been yeah, possibly a little bit closer you know referee maybe the, he, if I didn't see that he was out maybe the referee didn't see the same uh, you know referee is there to to protect the fighter so uh, maybe he didn't see that he was out like like in me you look as fresh as a daisy after you know around an event. How how quickly would you like to get back into the octagon? So uh, I, you know uh, now I'm I'm training. You know I fighting or no fighting. I'm always in training. This is my job and and I I, I enjoy my training. So I will be uh, ready when when UFC calls me. By another impressive uh, performance, do you see any limits for you in the division? Uh, limits. Uh, you know, uh, I just uh, I'm I I try to step step over the limits. You know, I I don't stay in a limit. So I hope I will continue the the, the wins in in OEC to get uh, in a top ten. So you've made a huge impression now. Two straight wins, two knockout victories. Is there any? Do you think that this can give you like a, a better fight, maybe on the main card? And if so, is there any particular opponent you're interested in? Actually, for me, it doesn't matter uh, 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 main card or not. Every fight is for me title fight. So I prepare it like uh, for the title. Uh, it's gonna be or oh, Fox or oh, main card or oh, undercard. Doesn't matter. Fight is a fight. So. I will be ready for the next fight. Barak, what does team banter mean? Team banter, <laughs> this create my uh, Roger Huerta. We always joking, you know. Uh, we couple guys, we are like ten guys uh, in team banter. This uh, Roger Huerta creates team banter, and we are always joking, you know. And that's why it's a team banter. <laughs> I hope one day we're gonna have in team banter some champions, UFC champions. Perfect. Speaking, guys. Thanks, Roger. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.